Hey guys, Mike here with Medic Materials and welcome back to another Tuesday edition of something in about five minutes. Today, we are attacking surfactant and the idea of surface tension within the alveoli. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we got a lot to break down today with the alveoli and the idea of surfactant and surface tension. So right here, my pink, my little pink dot you're gonna be following, you got airflow into an alveoli, right? understandable that's where gas exchange happens cool so we have this nifty air layer and that's the first thing that is a, a, a misnomer uh, and a misconception that you know this is just filled with oxygen and it's not it's also filled mostly with nitrogen 79% of the alveoli is filled with nitrogen and this allows the uh along with the surfactant allows the alveoli to stay open this is the big concept of you know when you uh smash your back on the ground after doing some like you know bmx trick and next thing you know you 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 know lose all your breath you get the wind knocked out of you i guess per se and this is that nitrogen leaving i'm gonna do a video next week on nitrogen washout and this is the concept that we're going to be attacking, this nitrogen in this air layer. So that's just a concept I want you guys to be aware of. So then we have this little uh, water layer actually within the alveoli. And that is where we're going to be focusing today. Because it's this water layer that creates the surface tension that the surfactant needs to uh, fix and decrease. So... In my first breakdown here, we're going to go over here. We have in the walls of the alveoli two types of alveolar cells. Type 1, which are these uh, flat uh, epithelial type like looking cells. And then you have type 2, which these are these cube uh, type of epithelial cells. Okay, Type 1, there's more of. They're going to be the diffusion uh alveoli this is where diffusion is going to occur those are the capillary beds and things like that the type 2 these these cuboid ones or cube shaped ones is where the surfactant is going to be pr produced now surfactant is just proteins and lipids or fats uh, combined to create this myelin sheath type product and that's what I have demonstrated in red right here so each of these, uh, you know, cuboid type two cells create these, uh, you know, surfactant type molecules, which then bind together in this myelin sheath kind of structure. And that's what's really going to produce the surface tension limiter that that decrease surface tension. So here's how it actually does that. What happens is there's here's in my second breakdown, you have this water barrier right and water likes to interact with water it does not like to in interact with the air so what it's done what it does is naturally it forces down on itself right because none of these top cells want to interact with the air layer above so they will interact down below and they'll force themselves deeper and deeper and deeper into the water barrier thus causing the alveoli walls to constrict in the surface tension as that water compresses becomes greater and actually collapses your alveoli the only way to fix this is with surfactant these two uh cuboid surfactant type 2 cells produce their surfactant and they go out in their myelin sheaths now they produce a protein that actually sticks out to antennas into the air barrier and these are water scared uh hydrophobic is the scientific word these are uh protein strands that do not like to interact with water so they will stick out into the air layer and they will stay there and they will try and pull that water barrier back upwards towards that air barrier and the more surfactant you have produced the more that tension becomes pulling upward now opening that alveoli because you're decreasing the surface tension on the outsides of that alveoli so guys that's really it that is a a dumbed down quick version again something in about five minutes 
in how to understand how the surfactant and the alveoli work, surfactant, as we always learn, keeps the alveoli open. And that's exactly how it does it, by decreasing the surface tension due to that water barrier. So stay strong, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.